Hey y'all, it's Jet Setting on a Budget here. Gonna be talking to you today about Los Cabos, Mexico International Airport. If you're planning a trip there, you've never been there, or you want more information, stay tuned for what I have for you. I promise it will help you get through it much easier. So before you land, the flight attendants will come around and they're going to give you a tourist card that you need to fill out and that's for a passport control and then also a customs form. So on the form, you want to fill out the top and the bottom. The top part, the passport control agent actually takes that from you and then the bottom part is your Mexico tourist cards. Listen, it's very important that you keep that tourist card with you because you actually have to turn that back in when you get ready to leave. Now, if you lose it or you forget it or you don't know what you did with it, you're actually gonna have to end up paying 60 US dollars at the airport. You're gonna have to go to the immigration office at the airport, fill out the paperwork, and then they're act then you'll be able to board your flight. So very important, do not lose it. Make sure you give it to them. Um, also, make sure you fill out the forms before you land. It's going to save you time at the airport. You don't have to stand to the side and fill it out. Um, have all your stuff together when you get to the passport control agent. It'll make it go faster. And then also, when you get to um, customs as well, they're going to need that second piece of paper. So again, do not lose that tourist card. I usually keep mine in my passport, lock it up in a safe box at the hotel. made it through passport control, you made it through customs, and you are on your way to start your wonderful vacation. But first, you got to get through the two rooms filled with timeshare salesmen. Some of them can be aggressive. Some of them try to stop you. Um, do not stop. Do not give them your passport. Do not tell them who you're riding with, your transportation, your hotel, because they're going to try to get you and sell you. You're going to have to go listen to this like 90 minute presentation, long, boring to sell you a $15,000 timeshare. Now, if that's your thing, you want a timeshare in Los Capos, you want to join the club, by all means, stop and listen to them. But if that's not for you, you don't really want to talk to them or have to deal with that, keep going, move fast through the airport. Now, when you get there, there's not just one room, there's two rooms. So the first room you go through, they're going to try to stop you, say no thank you, keep walking. Second room, same thing, trying to get you, saying let me help you to your transportation. Don't fall for it unless you want to go to a timeshare presentation. Otherwise, walk out to the airport, see the open blue wonderful skies, and you will see your transportation there waiting. If you have arranged for a ride to pick you up, there'll be people with signs that have your name on it. Otherwise, if you're taking um, maybe a ride share or a bus, go across um, the street from the airport and you will see all the transportation providers that you need there. Anytime I go to Cabo, I always use a company called Trans Cabo. They are wonderful on time. I usually take the shared van. It's $29 round trip. It's air conditioning. They provide cold water bottles for you when you get in. They also give you a voucher and it has your name and a time to be ready for pickup when you're going back home. Um, I think this is definitely the way to go. Again, they will be across from the exit to the airport so make sure you go across there they're in orange shirts and blue bottoms and they say trans couple on there um you just show them your voucher that you have on the phone and they'll take you where you need to go the link to their website will actually be in the, the description again i trust them i use them several times and this is the only provider that i use in los cabos you may have someone different but again i recommend trans Cabo. <music> All right.
right, here is the bonus tip. It's called the Mobile Passport. You can download it right to your phone, um, create an account, add your picture, add your passport information, and then it also has the customs questionnaire on there. Trust me, when you come back home to the U.S., this is going to save you so much time when you get to passport control. They have a dedicated line. Literally, you'll be out within five minutes. The longest time um, I spent was walking to get there. First, you stop at the passport control agent. You show them the app um, and the QR code that it has on your phone once you submit it. And they look at your passport, verify it, boom, you're done. Then once you get to customs, they look at the questionnaire on the app, they scan it, show them your passport, you're gone on your way back home. Trust me, you need to do this. If you don't want to stand in line for hours and hours, especially on the weekend, or if a lot of people are flying back to your airport, like I have to go through LAX and it's always a tons of people in that custom line, do yourself a favor, download Mobile Passport. You can actually submit the questionnaire before you depart because it stays there for four hours. So again, I told you so, download it, Mobile Passport. It's available at most U.S. airports. But again, I'm going to link the website in the description. Check it out. See if they're at your airport. If they are, do yourself a favor, save yourself some time and download Mobile Passport today.